All right, today we're going to talk about performing reflections. Okay, in a reflection, it's like a mirror reflecting an image. All right, the mirror line is called the line of reflection. Okay, and what you see on one side is the same as what you see on the other, um, and more so for here. Okay, the distance away that a point is from the mirror line or the line of reflection. All right, its reflection will be that same distance away. All right, and the distance I'm talking about is a perpendicular distance. All right, and obviously if the point is on the reflection line, it'll the reflection will be on the reflection line as well. It'll be the same point. All right, and that's what's described here. All right, it's describing these two diagrams here. Point P, some distance away from the reflection line. P prime is going to be that same distance away. If point P is on the line of reflection, P prime is point P. All right, so the vertices of triangle ABC are 1, 3, 5, 2, and 2, 1. Graph the reflection of triangle ABC described. All right, so if point A is 1, 3, 1, 3, there's point A. Point B is 5, 2, 3, 5, 2. And point C is 2, 1. All right, so we have this triangle here. All right, and we're looking at the reflection line, x equals 3. Well, where does x equal 3? x equals 3 here. All right, so now we want to look at what's the distance away each point is from it. Okay, point A is 2 away. So if it's going to reflect, it's on the left. It's going to be on the right then, so it's going to be two away. There is point A prime. Point B, again, is two away, and it's on the right side, so point B prime will be on the left side, two away. There is B prime, and C is one away, and it's on the left. It'll be on the right, one away. There is C prime, so there is our image triangle. These are here are the distances and do those in a different color. Alright. So there, we got the blue triangle, A, B, C, and we got the green triangle, A prime, B prime, and C prime. Okay? Do the same thing over here for this one. Alright, we got triangle 1, 3, there's point A. Point B is 5, 2. And point C is 2, 1. Alright, same triangle. Now we're looking at y equals 1. Well, where does y equal 1? y equals 1 here, right? Okay. Point C is on the reflection line. So C prime will also be on the reflection line. Okay. Point A, distance away, 2. And that's a horizontal line. That's a vertical line. I know they're perpendicular. So two away, there's A prime. And then B prime, that's one away, it's going to be one away. There is B prime. So here's my triangle. Okay, graph a reflection of triangle ABC from example one in the given line. So here are the vertices. Please do the reflection with those three lines. Okay? All right, now, if, point, if a point A, B is reflected in the x-axis, its image point is going to be A, negative B. If a, a point A, B is reflected in the y-axis, its image point is negative A, B. If line, uh, point A, B is reflected in the line y equals x, all right, that's a line, y equals x, where the y-intercept is 0 and the slope is 1, all right, its image point is B, A. And if point A, B is reflected in the line Y equals negative X, its image is the negative, is the point negative B, negative A, okay? So those are four rules with reflections, four reflections, all right? So now if we take a look at this, M points of segment FG are F is negative 1, 2, negative 1, 2, there's point F, and point G is at 1, 2, 
All right, it's a horizontal line. Y values are the same. Reflect the segment in the line Y equals X. All right, and the graph of Y equals X, I'm going to actually grab this. All right, here's my line. There's the line Y equals X. Y intercept is zero, which means it goes through the origin, slope of one, up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, to the right one. All right, slope of one. There's the line y equals x. All right. Now it's a little bit harder here to draw a perpendicular line. All right, like we were in these previous examples. Okay. We had a horizontal, or excuse me, a vertical line is our reflection line. That means our distances are going to be horizontal lines. Our reflection line was horizontal. That means our reflection distances are going to be uh, vertical. All right. Now we got a little bit different story here. Our line is no longer horizontal or vertical, all right, it's diagonal. Well, you have these four rules here. If it's reflected in the line y equals x, which it is, all right, any point, AB, its image point is going to be BA, all right? So point F is negative 1, 2, the image point is going to be 2, negative 1. And point G will be 2, one. G prime, excuse me. There's the segment. Alright, and think about it, if I fold this board or this graph right on the y equals x line, right on that line, if I fold it there, will these points line up? Will G and G prime match up? Will F and F prime match up? And yes, they will. Alright, that's a reflection. Alright, now take that same segment, which I have here for you, all right, and reflect it through y equals negative x. So now you're doing the same thing, but you're looking at the line that's going through here this way. Okay? Same, same example, but I want you to try it now with y equals negative x. All right, now we're going to try graphing a triangle. Triangle ABC with vertices 1, 3, so point A, 1, 3. Point B is 4, 4, 4, and 4. And point C is 3, 1. 3, 1. All right, there's our triangle. Now, reflect triangle ABC in lines y equals negative x and y equals x. All right, so I first, I'm going to do this one with the y equals negative x here for you. All right, so I know it's going to go from here. Okay, there's my line y equals negative x. Okay. Now, if we remember those rules, I just got done sharing with you. A point that's reflected through y equals negative x, it's the same two values except for they're both negative now. Okay? Alright, so point A, excuse me, and, and they're switched. It's A, B, they're switched. It's negative B, negative A. So they're both negative and they're switched. Excuse me, not negative, they're, ne they're the opposite, all right? Because if they're originally negative, they not, then become positive. All right, so our reflection point, all right, A is at 1, 3. It's going to be at negative 3, negative 1. There's A prime. B is at 4, 4. It's going to be at negative 4, negative 4. There's B prime. And point C, 3, 1, is going to be at negative 1, negative 3. There is C prime. Again, if I folded the board right on this line here, would my points match up? Would A and A prime match up, C and C prime, and B and B prime? And yes, they would. All right? And I'll leave this last one here for you to try as well. Okay? So a reflection is an isometry, meaning the original triangle and its reflection are congruent triangles, okay? Reflecting the triangle, we're keeping the triangle, the triangles are congruent still. That's what isometry means again, okay? And thanks a lot.